What is up, Scar and I bring a new Pokemon Crystal Vedlock Finale Part 2. In the last part, Finale Part 1, we had put Blaine, or we have Face Blaine, and also a special trainer that we used to go against them and all that. And for this episode, we are going to go against the former champion, Blue, and before we do that, we need a special trainer. But even before that, I want to go catch some more encounters that I hadn't caught before. I wish now that... Okay, hey, Dana. Ah, uh, Sky. It's me, it's me, Dana. My side is getting prettier. I've been taking photos galore. It took only an instant to KO a wild Radita. It must be because you gave me some battling tips last time. See you. Well, thanks for interrupting that, um, but yeah, that's, uh, pretty much, uh, the fuck was I saying now? I don't even know, shit, um, got completely distracted, but, uh, yeah, pretty much with the, this episode, I need to catch some more encounters, and we're kind of making up our own general, uh, Scar Knight codes. Uh, but without further ado, let's go introduce the Pokemon. And I did two featured uh, episodes instead of just the one because I realized I made kind of an error, but not really. At the same time, you know, it's like, you know, like, come on or what or not. But we got Ladybug, Sandshrew, Muck, Shiny Articuno. I forgot I had that. I can't believe I did. Gligar and a Fero. Okay, at least we could fly out here because uh, to get encounters, um, I was thinking I need to go to Lavender. But is there a Pokemon in Lavender Town itself? I don't think there is. But let's teach Shiny Articuno fly because. Uh, like, Fiero, you already had enough attention for last episode. Like, there's at least three Fieros that I saw in the span of an hour, and I feel like that's too much. Then again, I saw more tentacles, but, you know, fair enough, I guess. Um, but yeah. I'm trying to look at my notes, because I knew I wasn't going to remember this, but the two featured videos, because I tend to forget which episode I'm going to put up. Hang on, let's go to... Lavender Town. I really doubt there's grass on the top. Let's see. Let's go to my notes. <clears throat> so, don't think there's grass, but let's go to this route right here. Route 8. The place that I was explaining that, uh, that, uh, I had battled. Or not battled. Do I have a Cutmon? Please tell me I do. Please tell me I do. I was just coughing. Yankee. I don't remember who Yankee is, but, you know. It's okay. Which was the Pokemon? You know what? I'm s uh, wait. It is a... Wasn't it a water Pokemon? Isn't a Kingler, like, an insect sprite? Some shit like that? I don't know. Um, okay. I, I looked at my notes, too, and I realized what the featured video was. So we'll do that in a second. Uh, let's do it right after we get our encounter or whatnot. But uh, we're gonna skip the letter D because I already said Deva, you know, because I mentioned about, you know, Alpha having a new name for Auras. So we're going to the letter E, which I don't think anybody could be Epsilon. And that's like the only other word, I think, in the military code that has three syllables. Shit, I did not heal my Pokemon at all. Um, let's go to Muck. But in the after game, I realized that I had put Fortnite um, and showed like a highlight moment, but I never really showed a part one of it. So that's my whole thing with that. So that's the first featured video that I'm going to be showing, you know, since in the last episode I showed the first kind of part of the Green Demon Challenge, then, you know, I, I figured that the first featured video for this one would be the first episode of Fortnite, pretty much. Because that episode of Fortnite was pretty hype, because I was 
saving up like uh, footage that I recorded playing Fortnite because I got into it at the time I was working in my job. Some uh, worker friends were just telling me, hey, we should play Fortnite sometime. Oh, and Snubble left. Welp. Welp. Okay, let's take a look at our Pokemon right quick. Uh, let's see. Crab lived the legend. Okay. Zubat. All right. Radicate. Shiny victory, but... Oh, that cough got me off guard. Caterpie. All right. Um, yeah, let's go... I don't have a Flymon, do I? I wasn't paying attention. It's a Zubat, right? It's not like a... Yeah, I can't... Uh, I can't escape here, so let's go get another encounter because I want to fly out of here. Then again, I could just walk. No, but it's fine. Pidgeotto. Um, but yeah, for that Fortnite episode, uh, yeah, like I said beforehand, I was saving up all this footage, like, when I was invited on, uh, playing with some worker friends. That's where I was. Uh, I, I never really considered, like, because I'm not really into, uh, gun games or anything like that. But, like, Fortnite was the exception because I wanted to... I wanted to try it. And, you know, I, I immediately liked it. And, you know, and I kept playing more and more Fortnite. And in the course of, like, a year playing or however long it was, you know, whenever I won or something spectacular happened, I, I noticed the replay function. And I used the replay function to record some episodes from different angles. And, uh... From there, I just I just did all that. Look at the hand art sprite. See, isn't that like shorter than what it looks like? I don't know. That was Zapdos. Oh man, dang. A palm. Shiny Pidgeot. I don't think I got you yet. Yankee again with the Meowth. Zulu with Starmie. Okay. Uh, let's go fly out of here. I didn't mean to do that because I wanted this to go over here to Celadon. Because I could go to the route underneath Lavender Town, but that's a whole bridge that's a bit harder to get. Um, the same aim for this episode. I'm going to try to go for 20 minutes and then we'll go with the real meat of the episode being the gym challenge with the special trainer because blue just chills out alone unless you're playing our gold soul silver because i'm pretty sure there's trainers in there but yeah as i was saying though like i just started saving uh and recording episodes but i never posted anything at that point and then star wars day happened and i was like oh shit i'm so hyped and then like i had a lightsaber and I was just, you know, playing for fun in like the middle of the night. And I was like, oh shit, oh that's so high. Well, I gotta get that in the video and I gotta upload it. So yeah, that's what happened. Route 16, is this still Route 16 over here? It is, okay, okay, just making sure. So our Route 17 encounter then. And we're still in the letter E. I really don't know of anything I could think of to call something the letter E. Love, uh, level 33 Muck. Um, running out of great balls though. Slowly and surely. But yeah, when that happened, that, that was just amazing for sure. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the Fortnite episode 1 video. It's like I said, there's some pretty good stuff in, in the Fortnite videos. Some of the stuff is just like a whatever thing, like I'm just fucking around or something like that. And then that I had put up some of the footage that I had saved in the archives for literal years. I still got one in the back burner that I might be saving until January. If, unless I get too busy, then I might save it for like another year, because I wanted to post it in a specific day. But it really depends if I can get it on time or, I don't know, there's like a whole bunch of wheels have to be turning pretty much. Now, what can I call this mug with the letter E? Because I'm trying to think of a general name for that. And I'm really drawing a blank? I think I came up with something though. Because as I was saying, I was drawing a blank, like I came up with the word. Um, okay, I kinda like it. So we'll try to go with it. Muck, please stay caught, right? And we got an episode to finish, and you are not helping. Like, at all. Like, at all, at all, alright? Alright, it's gonna be bound. Okay. 
Um, uh, Ripple. As for the, maybe I shouldn't jump the gun and save the second feature video yet, but, you know, just know that I, like, when I look back on the episodes, I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I didn't do the first episode of Fortnite. Um, there was the other theory video, but I don't have an excuse to just put it up, but it's pretty good. I really like it, and I was surprised on the finished product of how convincing I was, at least in my opinion. Maybe to you guys would be like, oh, I'm all done Fortnite. Um, and that's, like, the Gary of Team Rocket, because that's the theory, I'm like, I'm pretty sure Gary's from Team Rocket. And it doesn't have as much views, and maybe I need to promote it a bit more, because I am proud of that theory for sure. So maybe I could just never do a feature video, no, I'm just kidding. Um, just watch it to your heart's content, you know? If you go to the theory playlist, you'll find it. That's the easiest way to find it. You don't need to type it in the key search and then look for it and scroll endlessly. Just click play, uh, playlists on Scarnet Theories. That's why I have playlists, just to make it easier. Then again, I don't have a playlist for Fortnite, but that's fine. About time, uh, God. Okay, so the letter E that I came up with. Alright, check it out. Eon, yeah, like it. Okay, so hang on, do I just have to press B? B didn't do jack shit. Hang on, let me press pause and let's go check our Pokemon out. Enter. All right, Caterpie. Okay, Kulava. All right, Shiny Electrode. Okay, Togepi the Yankee. All right. Zulu the Squirtle. Dude, there's a lot of things that fit Zulu. I'm surprised. Like, him, Ali, and Squirtle also do look like a Zulu. So, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pause on this screen and enjoy the featured video. Oh, wait, no, silly me, silly me. I didn't even get the loot from the guy that I killed. Ugh, what was I thinking? I, I don't know how to park a helicopter, so I, I just, you know, he's gonna simply jump on the roof, but it, it's okay. The helicopter apparently can park itself. I'll take that into note for later. Anyway, as I was saying, there is indeed a treasure chest on top of that mountain, and I do desire it most, most uh, greatly. Yes. So, alright, onwards. We're gonna get ourselves the treasure chest on top of here. Alright, there you go. And hopefully the helicopter parts us up. Oh, 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 go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 Oh, ow! Dang it! No! No! Dang it! No! Uh, uh, it it's okay, it's okay. It it's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, it uh, that was a close one. Alright, so let's get this thing going. There's like the route in the bottom that I have to go to to reach the next route. And I'm pretty sure the grass technically outside. Is it Rat 18? I'm pretty sure it's Rat 18, right? There's no grass down here. Oh, well, now there is probably. Hang on. And I already battled this guy. Is that to avoid the other guy now? Rat 18 encounter. Here we go. We're making some okay time. Like this is Pokemon number three, and I'm pretty sure, dude. These mugs, man. They're the new Firo, dude. Like, I would say that about Tentacle, but that's to be expected with Tentacle, but like, I don't know. Fire Spin is a garbage move, and you should live this. Especially since you're specially defensive. I don't care if it dwindles, dwindles, I don't know, I don't care if it whittles down a little bit, you should live this. So, yeah, we'll see. And I'll try to gauge the damage too. Even from an Entei too, like, you're gonna be okay. They wasted nine gray balls? My god, I didn't think it'd take that long. What? Aw, oh, bruh. Please don't make this hard. So now we're at the letter F. Which... Cause, I don't know. You know how I said about the whole two-syllable thing last episode? And Epsilon not being that? I kinda want the letter F to be three syllables. Because I came up with a really cool name. <laughs> I mean, I, I might be biased. I don't know. I, I like the code so far that I'm making. Except for maybe Kalo. I mean, Kalo's okay, but like, I don't know. I'm sure with enough thought I would have came up with a better name. But that's fine. One, two, three. Oh, come on, dude. Is it free from fire spin? Yeah, I haven't seen the fire spin yet. Oh, okay, hang on. 
Let's go with another fire spin. Since it did like almost a third or more than a third, I can't really gauge that. Yeah, it, it did more than a third. Okay. Alright, so now let's go with one more great ball. Hopefully. Because I can't be spending all that much. Three more great balls. At least we're right next to Fuchsia City so we could buy more great balls. Hopefully they don't just sell Ultra Balls because they'll be bullshit. Okay. Um, but yeah, for the next uh, featured video, let me look at my notes because I feel like I'm going to forget again. Oh yeah, uh, Emerald Legends, like uh, a hype moment from there. And I think that I'm going to just end up just showing uh, the video of me explaining Reggie Ice because I think that's a funny topic. Even though I did technically already explained what happened like a while ago, like when I was in the Team Rocket hideout. Not really the Team Rocket hideout, but the invasion. Unless I show a different video, I don't know, because that's that's another good moment. Uh, F, right, uh, we're in the letter F. I came up with... Fiora. I think that's a great nickname, and I usually call my Dodrios this, because Fiora, I don't know, there's something about it. It just sounds so elegant and like, because it's from Xenoblade, and Fiora is a great name. I love it. Alright, let's check out our Pokemon. And I need to remember to, uh, to, uh, you know, go through, get great balls. None of the Pokemon are registering in my head. Shiny Venonet, though. Electabuzz. Didn't we have an Elect Kid just a second ago? Anyway, right, let's go a little bit backwards. I want to just check it out. Shiny Venonet. Yep, Elect Kid. There he is. Mankey. Okay, I was just making sure. I don't think we have a we don't have a surf mon, so I guess we're just gonna have to fish, which is fine. Um, yeah, I, I was tempted in the last episode to go to the Fuchsia City first just to show the bowlers off, but it's fine. You guys played this game before, I assume. If not, um, then you know you guys should have watched the crystal let's play first if you've never seen this game because it shows everything and i'm not showing everything because like like sure I, I got most of the stuff but i have been skipping like certain aspects of crystal but like when i do let's plays i do uh is there no opening oh no no it's on the other side i forgot that this isn't the same as red blue and yellow there's like a whole ass opening here um but yeah, for Let's Plays, I make it a mission to, like, get every aspect in there and all that. Um, so yeah, I try to do that. I didn't get great balls. Fuck, I said I was gonna try to remember and I immediately forgot, bro. Fuck. No. Do I only have one great ball? Oh god, please stay caught. Don't do this to me. We're in the letter G, too. Man, I don't know what to... We have one more great ball. Uh, I had an Espeon, Mankey, Luck Kid, Electabuzz, Venonet... Who is Zulu? Who are you against Zulu? Centret? Was it Centret? Yeah. And Venonet doesn't have a sleeping move, yeah? I really doubt you do. No, you do. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just trying to be extra cautious. I know it's just a level 10 Magikarp that I more likely will never use. But for God's sake, just let me have this, alright? Ah. Uh, splash. Yeah, because there's, there's no real point to catching the Pokemon, but it's fine. You know kind of why I'm doing this. I didn't even sleep powder it. I'm so... I did not... Oh, Skarnet, you need to focus, bro. It's fine, I caught it anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe. And that's two times that happened now. My short-term memory is getting way worse. Okay. Letter G. Uh, I'm definitely not gonna name it Golf. That's I'll never call it Golf. I wouldn't think that's a cool name. That shit's stupid. That shit dumb. Um... Uh, 
Um. See, okay, the thing is that's going through my head, I want to call it Gavin, but then that's a name, and I was trying to go against that. But, like... What's it called? Galvanize? Galvanize. Yeah, Galvanize. I like that. I almost called it Gavel. But no, I like Galvanize. It's like the ability. Gal... No, that's not how you spell it. Gal... Fen... Eyes. I could spell. Galvanize. That's a great letter G name. It's a bit much, but whatever. I'm kind of abusing the three <laughs> word thing. Codes are meant to be short, but that's fine. If somebody said Galvanize to me as a code, I'd be pretty happy. Hey, Alan. Hello, it's me, Alan! Scar, are you raising your Pokemon properly? I read in a book that you should raise any Pokemon you catch with love and care. Oh man, I almost coughed when I said care there. Care, care there, care bear. By the way, we knocked out a wild Bellstrad just the other day. I know, right? It's impressive, yeah. Studying up in advance worked. See you later. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go buy Great Balls before I forget. And also, when I do do this, let's go check our Pokemon. Can't believe I forgot two things straight in a row. We got Teddy Ursa, uh, Nidoran, Celebi. We're getting Celebis more often. Shiny Voltorb, Bayleaf, Ladybug, and that's it. I, I was gonna keep going down, but yeah. I'm gonna determine what team I'm gonna use too. I would continue catching encounters, but I already passed 20 minutes, like 20 minutes ago. Okay, that's not true, but... Um... Can I go without... Like, I'm too lazy to open my bag. It's forcing me. God damn it. I don't want to use cut. Eh, unless there's an opening here. Hey, bro. They, they can't hear me. Hey, bro! Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, let's go get a... Cutmon, not fly, cut. And hopefully we do have something. <clears throat> but yeah, let's go with cut. And also, since today is going to be the day, you're going to see the main story finale of Blue Rescue Team. So that's going to be great. And uh, hopefully you guys will be having a fantastic New Year's Eve. You know, if you're watching this in the future, then... Yeah, I, I already been broke the fourth wall in this series, so it's completely fine. But that's where we're at right now. The end of 2022. Oh man, this year has been wild. But hopefully 2023 would be one of the best years, at least for some of us, you know. We can't all be happy, but it's fine. <laughs> It'd make it sound more depressing than it needed to. Sir, could you give me great balls, please? Thank you. $22,000. My god. Let's spend it all. Uh, maybe, maybe, well, no, nah, it's fine, it's fine. Because I had 15 great balls and that went down quick in this episode alone. Uh, 36 great balls. 36 is my favorite number. I didn't say that in episode 36 because I completely forgot. Um, I, I am almost tempted to buy flower, uh, flower mail. Oh, fuck it, let's just buy it, dude. For no reason, just for the memes, pretty much. I just want to buy it, okay? Don't question me. Don't question my judgment, dog. Do I have a Flymon? I don't think I do. You could teleport, right? I don't think Celebi could fly. It has, like, wings, like a butterfly or an insect, but I don't, yeah, I can't fly. Okay, so I got no choice but to, uh, go to the grass then. That's okay. Because I'm gonna try to fly out here, because we are now in the gym portion of the episode. Five minutes late, but we're here. All right, let's go just re-randomize our Pokemon so we can fly out there, because I am definitely not going to walk all the way back. That is a fucking journey. Firo! Yet again! All right. 
Let's do this. And our team is Gengar, Porygon 2, Articuno. I'm getting another Articuno last. No, it was this episode. Shiny Articuno. It kind of. It's well, I'm not wrong. It wasn't the last episode. It it was the parallel. You know, I ended with Shiny Articuno and started with Shiny Articuno. Shiny Mankey though. Kadabra! And a Metapod. Second time I got Kadabra. I could be- sometimes I misremember shit because like... I sometimes record more than one. And that tricks me. Cause I'm all like, oh I had two of these! And it turns out that I had that in the last episode. Which could be true. I don't really recall. Um, but yeah. Let's go over... Two. The special trainer to go before facing blue. So who do you guys think the special trainer was? Because you saw the last episode and you know exactly who it was. I went the complete other way. Because this special trainer is in Viridian City. And it may not be who you think. Because he is in here. Which could be an excellent... Uh, thumbnail on its own just to have you know crystal versus gold that would have been cool but you know obviously the thumbnail is going to be about blue hi welcome to our training hall you may battle a trainer once per day cal is your opponent today would you like to battle i don't know why she bothers to say that because cal's the only opponent you face in this place but whatever please go right through you may begin right away but yeah, he would have been a sick thumbnail. Like, if I had an alternative to do this, that would be it. I traveled out here just so I could battle you. Oh, that's nice of you. Which he could have been, like, its own episode, I guess. But, like, the whole thing with, like, the gym leaders that are just by themselves need to have a special trainer before them. Because I don't want to just go in the grass and then go, like, oh, my final team is this. Oh, I don't like this team. Let me re-randomize. Like, I'd rather have it at, in a battle because I think it's more entertaining. So let's just try that. Um, and yeah, he has every single Johto starter in his team. I don't know how the hell he gets it. Must be Game Shark. You're cheating, dog. It has to be Game Shark. Like, you don't... You don't know where to get this shit. Like, you obviously came from Johto, right? Like, I seen you. I seen you. You got hit synthesis. I didn't mean to hit the mic. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it's fine. I'm just gonna keep on night shading because I don't got anything better. Uh, but the next episode is gonna be finale part three. Guys, are you excited for that? Man, I... <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some grinding. That's why I'm kind of recording this a bit early. Like I said in the last episode, I recorded these two episodes right after I uploaded the awards show. And the only reason for that, because I uploaded that on like, uh, what's today, Thursday? And this upload is gonna be pretty much on Sunday, New Year's Eve. And then the finale will be on a Monday. January 1st. So yeah, I'm just doing it in advance because grinding is gonna take some time. I'm just trying to strategize my scheduling. Um, he took it. Whoa, I forgot. Okay, I don't want to stay in. You're gonna outlive me. Oh, I need to think more. Like, these Pokemon, that we're in the end game now. Like, we can't just... Which one are you again? Did you just Voltorb? Porygon 2? You'll take hits better, that's fine. Porygon 2 would do perfectly fine. We can't take things too lightly. Like, we had a very easy time for a very long time. Um, since... I don't even know, like... i only been taking seriously the, the special trainers on their own, and yet there's one in front of me, and I'm not... I'm not, like... thinking too much. I'm, like, thinking more what to say rather than battling. But it's okay, we should be fine either way. It's cause like I'm over leveled. All that's gonna change in the next episode though. 
Because, um, I had mentioned, like, gym leaders would be five levels over leveled, and then, like, the champion would be ten levels over leveled. And that would be the case for the for the certain trainer that we're facing tomorrow. Uh, but I don't know if I want to be 10 levels over than him. I kind of want to just have all my Pokemon at level 77 and then just hope for the best. Because it's just one battle and I, I'd rather have it do or die than just sweep them without a problem. Um, but it's going to be risky. Because even after this battle, we're facing against a former champion, Blue, who, like, I know I'm just hyping him up because I'm saying he's the champion and all that, but he has a mixed team. It's not a theme team where I could be like, oh, well, it's a water type trainer, so I could use grass and electric types, so that's gonna be good. And then this grass trainer, weak to fire and flying, like, I can't do that shit. With Blue, he has a mixed variety of Pokemon, so there's got to be some exploits. If some Pokemon that are weak to certain types, like if half my team are weak to fire types, then I'm going to have a hard time against his Arcanine, you know? So that's what I mean. Let's just switch out. I keep forgetting that he's weak to that. You know what? I almost switched to Yankee just a moment ago when Fraligator was in front. I don't know. Man, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I looked at him and I'm like, Kadabra's good, but I didn't look at the level. And here we go again, I switched to a fucking Articuno. What am I doing? Oh man, I can't do this in the next match. Okay, at least I can live this. Thanks to his special defiance. Thanks to his special defiance, at least we got Articuno on screen. I always like showing legendaries on screen and all that. But yeah, we made pretty far... Almost completion in the progress we made with Pokemon Crystal Vet Luck. Can't believe we, we are already basically towards the end. It feels like... Not really yesterday, it feels like 11 years ago since I started playing this game, but you know... I lost. Darn. And our final team to go against Blue... Oh, bruh. So, I, I need to think hard about this. I really do. So, let's go determine this. Who do you guys think? You know, I'm almost tempted to not show you guys what's on the screen, but I think I'll do that in the next episode. Either way, let's go check our Pokemon. You already see the Pokemon. Or maybe not. I don't know. It just depends how I'm gonna edit this. Let's take a look. Venomoth. I don't think that's going to be good against most Pokemon, because he has a Gyarados, Arcanine, Executor, Rhydon, Pidgeot, uh, what was the other one? Wait, what else he has? Like, Pidgeot, Rhydon, I forget his six Pokemon. I don't know. Either way, Rapid Dash. Fire Spin's garbage, man. I don't know. This is gonna be hard. Skarmory. Yeah, and don't forget, I only got the four mons. I can't even use the two other ones. Skarmory might be the most helpful one in my team so far. Shiny Yanma. This is gonna be hard, bro. But we got Macargo. Nidorine, no. Nidorine, no. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna think this through, so I will feature yet another video. And this video is pretty much Pokemon Yellow? No. Oh yeah, I already said it. Emerald Legends. I was misreading the wrong thing. I'm like, Yellow? What the fuck? But yeah, no, that was the last episode. Emerald Legends. So yeah, here you go. Anyway, I'm gonna go check my berries and we might have ourselves a little mini montage for when uh, the berries will be ready for us to be the picking. So be right back. One eternity later. The reason this video is late, three and a half years late, almost four years, 
is because like the thing that I'm trying to pull off is something that is something that's required with the real game uh, the real-time battery I literally tried everything like the only other thing I would have to do is like fixing the game myself I got all these fee basses and I'm trying to get myself a melodic right that's what I'm trying to do there is a battery option in the emulator itself if you just click on like options and stuff like that scroll over you'll find the battery thing and you can just turn it on and then boom um it doesn't work like that. I got myself a Game Boy Advance player. Now, the Game Boy Advance player, it looks like this, and uh, it comes with the disc that's in Japanese. Oh, well, the thing is about Japanese GameCube games, they only work on Japanese GameCubes. Uh, the GameCubes are region locked. So if you have an English uh, GameCube, it only works on English games. And I'm like, oh, well, that sucks. So, I got myself a Japanese GameCube. It looks like this. It's an orange GameCube. I always wanted one, uh, or you know, it's just like the one that May has in her room. You know, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I did the thing again. Got the orange GameCube. Put the Game Boy Advance player. Put my own cartridge in, and uh, the disc still didn't work. The disc. And like I got it repaired and it only takes a couple tries uh, for the disc to actually kick in and work for um, to even start playing off the Game Boy Advance player but it eventually pulled off I was able to play my own personal Pokemon Emerald cartridge since when I first played Pokemon Emerald with the same team and everything and I tried growing the berries and it still doesn't fucking work. I'm like, what the hell? Like, <sighs> damn, it was so dumb. So then I had to get that battery issue fixed on my own personal cartridge. And I got that fixed and it still doesn't work. I'm like, what the hell do I have to do? Like, I don't get it. If the real tank clock works with this new battery, it's like, what is it? Is the berry glitch still active? outside ruby and sapphire to this emerald version i pretty much got myself a japanese pokemon emerald version and the same problem with that and i had that battery issue fixed and it still doesn't work because i'm thinking to myself maybe it's the gamecube's time clock because maybe it's different or something like that even when i said it to my date and even when i got the battery fix on the japanese cartridge it still just does not work i don't understand because i got this ds player that i should be using more often and the clock is active and it still doesn't work even with the fixed battery so i don't know eventually i saw a video that it was very strange like before he even selected the game he went to his options, he clicked on the battery option, he clicked it, he, he went back to the options, he clicked it off, then he went back to the battery options and clicked it back on, and I thought to myself, huh, and then he put it on this game, and so I did that, like my thing was already checked, I checked it off, I checked it back on, and then I turned on Pokemon Emerald, and then it works! I'm like, what the hell, man? Like, um, it, it wasn't even in my cartridge. I did this in the emulator. Like, I tried it out and I felt like I spent all that time where this issue shouldn't be an issue in the emulator that I have to click it on and click it back on. I, I, I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense. It, but then when I test it out, then it finally works and I finally got something sprouted for once. Okay, so I pretty much uh, looked over my team and I gave Skarmory Fly and I tried to teach somebody strength. Nobody could learn strength though. Uh, except for like the other two Pokemon that I'm not using. But besides the point, I taught Skarmory Fly. This is gonna be an uphill battle. Um, I'm gonna have a really hard time. And also, I completely forgot it's Skarm, uh, not Skarmory, Alakazam that I'm thinking of as the other Pokemon. We're gonna have a hard time. And the thing is, I may even have to sack certain Pokemon. You know, <coughs> but you know, it's fine. Who knows? They might live. Who who knows really? Where were you two again? I don't recall. Is it just Muck? All right, Macargo. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in Nidorino. I mean, they can be helpful. Who knows? They might live. Alakazam is going to be a problem like he always is. Regardless, let's do the gym challenge. Oh, God. Uh, let's see what we could do. Are you going to battle the leader? Good luck to you. You'll need it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oi. All right. Yo, champion making. How's it going? It looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you got. All right. All right, Blue, I got a bone to pick with you. Why, how come your name is Blue and you got all these fucking green Legos, dog? Oh. Okay. You got this, Scar Knight. Don't be worried. You got this. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. Huh? You're telling me you conquered all the gems in Johto? Heh, <laughs> Johto's gems must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto champ? Here we go. Oh boy. This has got to be a challenge. Pidgeot. Because Skarmory's legit the only one I could use the most. Oh my god, you're par with me. Shit. Skarmory's just gonna. We're just gonna ha have to hop on his back, dog. Like this shit. It's crazy. What the fuck am I gonna do against Arcanine now that I think about it? Because I didn't really think all the way through. Oh hell no, dude. Oh fuck no, dude. Did you really just mirror move? You're you're capable of flying, you fat piece of shit. Uh, I don't mean to fat shame you. No, okay, I'll take it back. Sorry, Pidgeot. You're not fat. At least not anymore. But you will be. Again. <laughs> don't mirror move me again, okay? Whirlwind! You could do that in the when I'm in the air? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's Fury Attack. I'm pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know how this battle's gonna go. Alright, hit three times. Don't do this, bro. Hit two times. Okay, good. He actually hit two times. Let's just keep Fury Attacking, I guess. I'm not willing to switch out. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch to Gyarados afterwards. Did that hit five? Oh, four times. Oh, that's not bad. Dude, stop, Pidgeot. Just stop it, dude. Just stop. I wonder what's the reference to Mirror Move because I don't know why it's just the bird's move to use. Like, Chadot, Firo, like, well, what is the connection there? I don't really know. Maybe there's some lore to it. Some mythology connected. Uh, that's two hits. Oh, four hits, rather. Shit. Okay. Let's go Fury Attack and miss. That's sweet. Mirror move yet again. No, but he gets to use it. No, that's all fair. You should probably mirror move the miss that I just did. But that's fine. Fury Attack one it's more. Okay, that's it for Pidgeot. I'm not doing anything spectacular with this battle so far, but it's okay. Rhydon. Oi. Hopefully Skarmory is tanky enough to get the rock slide going, because he can't hit me with Earthquake. But at least I could hit it with Steel Wing. Unless you have something else going on for you, but literally it's just rock slide. So let's steel wing you. Hopefully it does a uh, pretty good amount. Please do a pretty good amount. Yeah, this is pretty decent. Yep, rock slide. Any miss? That's good. That's really good. 
Yeah, Dream has got to legit carry us throughout this whole match, man. My god, there we go. Good for you, Dream. Okay, four more Pokemon. RK9. For RK9, uh, let's see... Shino's the Yamma, right? I might have to switch to Alpha, I just have to go back and forth. Arcanine's way stronger than a Rapidash, though. Especially since it's level 58. I'm pretty sure that the... The connection with the three... Oh yeah, I almost consider using Toxic, but I'm not like, nah, I need to save that for the last match, just in case. Oli, just in case. Oli and Oli, just in case. It's like a big red button. That was 82 HP. I was worried about that. I thought... No, but yeah. Does Rabidash have low health, considering? I don't know if this is a lot. Shouldn't I have like 200 or something? Or Why does 80 feel so small now? I thought like... Over 100 or something would be better. Okay, hopefully you could do a pretty decent amount. Probably should use the Sable and be a smart person, but I'm not. Let's do the Sable now, because I'm pretty sure Extreme Speed is legit the only thing it can hit me with. Yeah, let's do that. Extreme Speed. Okay, now let's heal. Fury Attack isn't the best, but, you know, if only- I would have definitely gave strength to Rapidash if he could learn it, but he doesn't. You have Swift? What? Okay. Oh no! Uh, I didn't want to disable. I was pressing A too quickly. Not that it matters. Shit. Yeah, I'm not staying with Yanma. I don't give two shits, bro. Like, the amount of shits I give are not present, dog. Like, I'm gone. Okay, Alpha. Yeah, you thought you'd go flamethrower my Shino. That was never gonna happen. That's my poster girl, dude. Okay. Uh, Fury Attack. Critical hit. Um, let's see. Dude, how are you? I don't understand how the f how, dude, and I'm the no, the fuck, man. This Arcanine's a huge problem. Ah, bruh. Like I got Venom off, and the other ah, uh, Macargo would have been kind of helpful to be honest at this point. It probably can be, like, it could take a flamethrower hit, it could take extreme speed. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna disable it again. At this point, it doesn't matter, because it only has 5 PP. Ah, fucking A, man. Fury attack. It probably ran out. I, I didn't keep track, but it definitely hit more than 4. Or at least 4. I, I don't... Did he heal his RK9? Because I don't know how it just barely now got to orange. Okay, well, he healed it now. This is going to be a long battle, dude. I was up in a... Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. Shit. I don't want Alpha to die. I don't know how the hell... No, stop it. If it's my cargo, you're dead, bro. Okay, it's Skarmory. I'm still not... Shit, this is a problem. I need Alpha to survive one flamethrower. Please survive one flamethrower. If I do, I could heal you and it should be fine. Because I don't remember how much it did last time. It just roared me again. Dude... No, stop it. 
Stop switching to my Flymons. Ugh, we're so stuck in the same problem. I should live a flamethrower, but I swear it has low health. Come on, Alpha, you can survive this. Ah, oh, bruh, okay. I don't know why, but like, when I saw it earlier, it feels like it took m much bigger chunks or something. I don't know. 140, that's more like it. I don't know why 80 bothered me. I'm like, that's not a lot, but at the same time, I didn't want all that much damage. Yeah, it just says 30. I don't know why I thought it did more before, like... Because it didn't seem rapid ass were especially defensive either. Was that 5? It's taking so long to kill this one RK9, dude. And the embarrassing part, eventually when it switches to Executor, I can barely kill it with this. <laughs> so, man. At least it doesn't have any more extreme speeds, that's good. Because they would have killed me like, eight more times by now. Okay. Come on. See, it feels like it's doing more, or is it just my imagination? I don't know, maybe because it just turns to orange and I freak out. I don't know, man. I'm not sure what the hell's going on. Three hits. See, now we're at less health than last time. You better not do a high roll, I'm, I'm gonna call dog shit. Okay. Dude, I am wasting so many heals. It is crazy. Man, it is beyond crazy. Dude, seriously? Oh, I dare you to roar me. Switch to my cargo. I I'm not gonna switch in myself, but I, I guarantee you, my cargo's gonna fucking own you, dude. I'm almost daring you to. I don't know how much control of your roar could do. Imagine there's a Pokemon move that you could just pick what Pokemon you want out. That'd be crazy. Oh yeah, I just remembered that I didn't talk about Marvel, Sma uh, Marvel Snap much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, well, we'll get to that later. I need a, I'll, I'll get a chance to talk about it in the next episode, I'm sure. If I remember it, that is, because I just barely remembered it now. Critical hit! That's good. Half itself. At least you got Shitty Swift, that's good. Watch S Shitty Swift just get a mega crit on me, man. Mega crit on me. Two hits, really? Come on, man. Two hits. Get the fuck out of here with your two hits. Come on, five hits, Rapidash. You got it in you. Come on, Alpha. Two hits! Stop with this, Macargo. You still have flamethrowers because there's no way you ran out of them. I'm gonna switch back. Oh, I swear, every time I look at anything less than 80 HP, I'm like, no, that is bad. <laughs> Flamethrower. Yep. Okay. At least I get the time to heal because I'm pretty sure in the next hit you should be dead. You use all your full restores. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he must have not get a lot of health then. I don't know. I feel like he should have more than 200. Maybe I'm just being unfair to Rapidash. Dude. Dude. <laughs> uh, I should be able to kill. That's my last Fury attack, too. Crap. I better say, you better not stop at 2, dog. I'm telling you right now. Okay. Shino. With experience as well. Half the team is gone, and I swear I spent like 20 minutes alone. Gyarados. Oh man, I'm so much struggling in this match. This mixed variety team 
and I got probably one of the <laughs> I'm gonna say one of the worst fire type Pokemon currently because it wouldn't be this bad if it just learned flamethrower uh, but yeah I mean I also got Macargo and that is also the worst fire type I guess Macargo is the worst fire type because of his weakness Gyarados is gonna have so much easier time than of it killing me than I'm killing it We'll try our best either way. I'm almost tempted at this point just to test out to see if Rapid Ash is capable of killing an Executor before it kills it. Because that would be the true test. Because I know Macargo has the capabilities of doing that at level 35. I don't know how I'm getting more... Oh, is this a debate now? Just, just between the two? Macargo or Rapidash for being worse fire types. I do like uh, Rapidash at the same time. I don't know. I think I like him better in the anime. I'm pretty sure I talked about it before. There's something about Rapidash that doesn't strike me, but I do like it a lot. I want to call it a Rapidash Torch. I don't know if I called one that in a Nuzlocke. I feel like I had. I don't know why I don't remember this. Either way, um, two more Pokemon. I look at some. Oh boy. We got this. We're, we're physical, and he could barely hit us. Alakazam was the one Pokemon I forgot. I don't know why I was thinking of electric types or other ground types, because it's getting me mixed up with red, blue, and yellow. Because I know he had a Sand Slash in yellow, and a Fero sometimes, and, uh,. Yeah, I don't know why Alakazam didn't cross my mind at that moment. Alright, Alakazam. You're getting taken out. No more of this bullshit. Fuck out of here. Oh, you almost died. No more heals? Oh, but recover, right. Okay. Ah, man. This should kill you, though. So yeah, Skarmory and Rapidash at least somewhat carried. I would say mostly it's all on uh, Skarmory because there was no way he would have taken care of Arcanine. But still, critical hit. He probably could have done that the first time, but you know, that's fine. Okay. And last Pokemon, Executor. Let's see. Let's give Rapidash a little bit of spotlight. I might have to heal anyway, because it's definitely going to psychic me, and I'm going to be at the orange, and I'm going to freak out, so it's okay. Let's go with one fight of spin. Right after I said that, I cough. Fight of spin. Look at the crock of shit of damage that is, dude. Are you serious? Who made this move? Fight of spin so ass. Like, they made it so much better in the anime, too. That's another thing. Like, Fire Spin's way better. A Ninetales O code a fucking Squirtle with Fire Spin. And it's not doing this much to a grass type. But a Ninetales could kill a, a water type. Like, I know it's a baby water type. But still, like, what the fuck? That's embarrassing. Oh, man. Uh, Hyper Potion. Okay. Ah, oh, bruh. Okay, that's fine, I guess. You were released from... I cannot believe... No! And it's 85 accuracy! Why? I'm pretty sure it's 85 accuracy. It's doing more than fire spin, and I resist the fucking move. But my move is super effective against it. Ugh. Why? Why? This is bad. And my voice is getting shy, and I'm still coughing, and that's just a combination of fuckery. Oh, please don't ask Synthesis or Morning Light or Moonlight or whatever the fuck you have. Morning Sun. There's no Morning Light. Ah, oh, bruh. 
This is basically almost a 3 hit KO. Fire spin though, 16 hit KO. Not even. I don't even know how many fire spins I did already. It's dead. And we won with no casualties. Almost level 58. You know, it would have been 58 if Arcanine didn't roar me. Wait! How the heck did I lose to you? Alright, here, take this. It's Earth Badge. Alright. So yeah, Blue has been defeated and Scar Knight has received the Earth Badge. <laughs> Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Alright, so let's take a look at our Pokemon and watch every single Pokemon be way better than what I had. Like, I, I know Skarmory's gonna be a bit hard to beat, but we'll see. Hitmonlee, that would have been great against, like, Rhydon and probably Arcanine. That would have been more helpful. Mareep, probably could have killed Gyarados at level 57, surely, right? Especially with Rain Dance, Magby could kill <laughs> Executor easier. He has Flamethrower, unlike some horse I know. Fraligator, yeah, could kill Rhydon easier, and Arcanine. Dude, this is a better team. Yankee, still, you know, Thundershock, beats Gyarados. Typhlosion, you already know. Bruh, come on, man, of course. That was so hard. Was there a Flymon? There was no Flymon. Okay, that's fine. I was gonna end the episode by getting an encounter, but I don't think I'll be able to. Man, you are truly tough. That was a heck of an inspirational battle. It brought tears to my eyes. What, the, the amount of laughter you did at the horse shit of Rapidash or what? No, it's okay, man. Actually, let's do this. Viridian City Pokemon Gym Leader, Blue. Jumbo! Winning Trainers, Sky. Geo. I don't know if I showed the yellow gambit thing, but it's okay. We're already more than an hour long. But let's just finish it off by talking to Professor Oak to get the good old thing. And then the next episode is the finale, part three, where we're gonna actually try to pretty much um, get the rest of the encounters, face one more special trainer, and then take the man that is standing on top of the mountain of Mount Silver. So, yeah, if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, is there Centrus in Route 1? What the hell? Did I already know this? I don't think I saw Centrus here. Yeah, let's check our Pokemon just in case we can catch. Like, you know, it's probably a terrible idea that I extend the episode more for one more fucking encounter, but... Shine out the Draffer Egg. Charmander. Okay, you... For those of you that doesn't like our specials, you guys are saved. Because if I would have had a Flymon, you know I would have immediately flew to the next encounter, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, in the next episode, we're gonna do what I already said. Now let's go talk to Professor Oak. Wow, that's excellent! You collected the badges of gyms in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, Scar. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many... Many? Is that what I said? Many? Home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Scar. Go up to Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. How is your Pokedex coming? You already, you already seen, dude. Your dream has come true. Is your memory that bad? Let's see. 
Current Pokedex completion level, 251 Pokemon seen, 251 Pokemon owned. Professor X rating. Whoa, a perfect Pokedex. I've dreamt about this. Congratulations. We, we, we did the celebrate. Do you just have that on like, do you just have that queued up or some shit? Why do you have that song always? Uh, whatever. If you're in the area, I hope you come visit again. Oh, hey, Scar, do you that? How's your Pokedex coming? And I just left. Nah, it's okay, man. Either way, um, let's go over here and White Tigers and Dragons to you. And before I end it off, I will look at my team to, you know, get different two mons because I don't think Yankee and Zulu is Pokemon that I may want. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, yeah. Uh, let's try the outro thing one more time. White Tigers and Dragons to you, and you've been Scarba the Knight. I'm out.